Hello Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back. Saggy, I hope you're doing really lovely and life is treating you kind. Today is a general reading for you that I'm gonna do, not a one-to-one, -one. so please keep that in mind. It may not resonate with you at all, or it might be your reading. Um, um, I'm excited because the reading, uh, the energy I was picking up when I was even prepping the decks, a lot of positive cards coming out. So I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what stage you're at, but it felt like something was coming in that you held the key. Um, we are going to open up with using my metaphysical deck. Now, this is just the major arcanas. Um, I just want to see what energy might be around you that you could be working with, you know, that's coming towards you. Um, keep in mind it is timeless, right? Um, may not happen on July 9th, uh, 2024. This could be something that's happening somewhere down the line or has already happened for you. Sag, thanks for all of your love, all of your beautiful comments, your support of me, of each other. You know, I just want to say, take a moment. Sometimes there's a few people out there in this world, and I know it takes all kinds to make the world go round. Some of them have a little bit lower vibration. Um, I don't understand their need to criticize um, and pick at people. But if you are not one of them, um, please know how much I love you and how full of gratitude I am for your beautiful light energy. You make a difference. You make a difference to me. You make a difference to the world. So don't ever forget your importance. All right. We're gonna get into this. It is very warm today. It's very humid. It's hot. I'm hot. My hair is fuzzy. And I don't give a shit. <laughs> We're gonna just get into this reading. All right, Saji, let's open up with the metaphysical deck and see what energy might be around. Okay, Spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius. For those that this is our reading, what's going on around July 9th, 2024? We have change on the bottom, Sag. Okay, interesting. I didn't mention this, did I? When I was meditating on your energy, my guides gave me the picture of a dove. It was a dove flying in that, quite high, actually, in the sky. So for me, I think doves actually, for myself, they kind of are renewal energy, peace energy, um, rebirth energy, if you think about that. Um, you might have your own idea of what dove means to you. Maybe it's specific for someone out there but it was flying in the sky. The fact that we have change on the bottom does indicate that there may be something really good coming towards you. Okay, let me just show it to you. We have gratitude next. This is interesting because um, gratitude is kind of like the wheel of fortune. This is about, you know, you know, I always say this, when we can get in the mindset, the heart space of really appreciating everything that we have. I know many of us are struggling. Many of us don't have a lot. Hard times, right? But if you can still be grateful for waking up, for taking a breath, for having that water, that cup of coffee, perhaps having loved ones around you. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. It does change the vibration. So it does feel here at the bottom, because it's the bottom of the deck, it does feel something's coming in that feels quite positive, Sag, okay? Um, we're gonna shuffle right away. Okay, then we have the key. Ooh, okay, something about the key. This is like manifestation. This is like the magician energy. It is about you actually having the power, the ability, the knowledge, the talent, the desire, whatever, all combined to actually open a floodgate of doors opening for you. So um, I'm excited to see what this is going to be. Let's see what the energy is. All right, Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me. <coughs> for Sagittarius. All right, I just want to get comfortable because like I said, I'm pretty warm. <laughs> all right, what is a message for Sagittarius, Spirit? What is the energy around Sag that they can work with or that's coming towards them for those that this is their reading? Beautiful Sagittarius. Ah. I do not have air conditioning or anything like that, so um, just got to embrace the heat, baby. Embrace the heat. One card, please, Spirit. Oh, that felt like it was going to jump. Please show me clearly. It's be a very specific message. This deck is feeling crazy. Okay, okay, we got two. Okay, we have stability on the bottom. Beautiful. I'll show it to you in a second. Let's see these ones. Oh, we have star seed and we have karma. Beautiful. And then we have the gorgeous stability. All right, let me just put these over here. All right, Saji, we're going to start with star seed. Yamoto. This is indicating a brand new start, okay? So again, connecting with that dove energy that I was feeling, there is a new path, a new cycle, something you are about to embark on. Starseed is all about starting something brand new. 
Um, this could even be you helping others in the world, um, as you already help me and you help each other. But this can really mean that you are really assisting others or making a big, making something happen that affects others in the most positive way. Okay, and really embracing yourself too, your authenticity, who you are, again, all the things that you stand for. We have karma that came out as well. Now this card, when it comes out, it does remind me a little bit of judgment card. This, you know, karma, everyone's got a different view on what that means and how it works, etc., etc., etc. But this card is about really beautiful things coming your way. Again, they're showing me the dove. Now, I'm going to show this to you because there is a person that's in the air and they have wings. It's like you are about to fly. Maybe some of you guys are about to get on a plane, you know, physically. But if not, this is saying there's something positive coming towards you. Okay. See her wings? Flying. Releasing. Being released. Again, because there's people on the bottom kind of going, help, help. Um, but this feels like you are moving away from that. Then we have that stability on the bottom, which is beautiful. Think Empress. Think, um, um, geez, what's going on? Um, Emperor. Stability is coming your way, Sag. I mean, there's tons of gold on this card, and gold for me rep represents abundance. So some of you may have just come into something that allows you great financial success. Um, and the ability to continue to fly and move. I don't know what I'm getting for some of you. I don't know if you've... I'm getting this feeling of like entrepreneurship and Sag, you are very known. You are a sign that is known for entrepreneurship, your ability to lead, your ability to think on your feet. I'm, I'm really picking that up for some of you. Okay, so a lot of gold showing up. Stability. Well, Spirit is saying stability is coming into your life if it's not there. If it's already there, Saggy, this feels like something really big coming towards you. Um, dream job. Dream pay. That's what I'm feeling. And it almost feels like, perhaps for some of you, for a while, the wheel has been stuck. Um, stuck in the mud. Like you haven't been able to get traction. Well, hold on, because I really think it's coming towards you. I don't know. What, again, I don't know what this is about specifically. Okay, let's get into the tarot. All right, Spirit, let's begin. Hmm. No, okay. I, they're guiding me to use my divine animal deck, so let's do that. Let's see what the message is that wants to come out of this. Okay. All right, Spirit. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the dolphin, which is happiness, Sag. Some of you have definitely been working on a project, starting a business. I don't know. It feels really, really positive. Um, the dolphin is represented here. There's a woman, a mermaid. She's on the dolphin. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Her belly is pregnant, indicating here that there is a new birth, a rebirth, a door opening, something, something about to break open for you, and it brings a lot of happiness to you, okay? And it's 42, that is a six. Love sixes because it's all about balance, harmony, you know, all the work that you've been putting out there, receiving it. Um, not receiving it, let me rephrase that. All the work you've been putting out there, all the positive energy you've been putting out there, your thoughts, it is coming back to you tenfold is what I want to say. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my God, and Sag, we have the sea turtle underneath this. This is stability as well. Two cards of stability. It's number eight. Eights for me are a very important number because it is this path that you're on. I don't know what you're doing, man, but there's something beautiful really happening. Again, two cards of water. Sea turtle and do dolphin. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe some of you are doing something in the realm of water. I don't, why are you, they're giving me this energy of, um, this would only be for maybe one or two of you. Are you around water? Are you, for some reason, I'm feeling like someone's driving a boat. This is really strange. Okay, but nevertheless, this is very positive energy. And then we do have the wolf neck sag, which is about authenticity. So again, did I not say that a little bit ago? I feel like I did. You staying true to you um, and not... And not changing who you are and staying focused on your dreams and your desires is bringing you the stability. It's bringing you a lot of joy and happiness. Okay. I guess that's why they wanted me to go to this deck. <coughs> I'm going to have a sip of water before I do that. <coughs> I'm going to stay hydrated in this heat. Okay. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much for guiding me. What is the message for Sagittarius? <coughs> what is the divine animal <clears throat> I 
this feels like a new passage. <clears throat> and I suppose it could be in love, it could be in any area of your life, but right now it's feeling to me like it's quite about, well obviously stability, but what does stability mean to you? It's going to be different for everyone. Let me get one card please, Spirit. Duck is... <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, we got, oh, we got two cards. We've got the lioness, which is about protection. It is number 21, Sag, so that is a three. Threes, for myself, really mean stepping into your alignment, meaning with you. Being at the right place, the right time, doing the right thing, um, the right people coming around you. It is a beautiful energy of power. The lioness is saying you are protected. You are completely watched over. Um, Whatever this may be, because again, it's going to be different for some, for all of you. Maybe some of you are getting a new job. Maybe some of you are deciding to retire. It feels like a different. Um, it feels di it feels different. Like I wonder if the death card will come out. That kind of energy where it feels like one thing is ending and something new is beginning, um, and the thing that is beginning is bringing wow a lot of positiveness to you. Okay, so the lioness. We have the dolphin. It showed up again. So happiness, Sag, there's something that you're about to birth. Some of you might even be pregnant. Gotta say that. Um, even with that star seed. If so, congratulations. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But if not, again, it is happiness. There's something great coming in. All right, we're gonna set it here. And the bottom, we have the tiger. Yes, your will. Your ability to push through. Your ability to not give up, even if things have been going the opposite. Um, it's 34. <clears throat> That's a seven. Sevens talk about contemplation. Like again, and some of you might have been contemplating, should I stay at this place? Should I not? Should I take this leap of faith? Should I not? Your will to not give up, to not stop is really important because that is what seems to be bringing, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> bringing in this beautiful, this beautiful stability of knowing. That's what I'm hearing, of knowing. All right. Okay, Spirit, thank you very much. All right, let's put this over here and let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm gonna leave it like this. All right, uh, let's go fountain deck. Because, okay. Because Sag, right now, my gods are giving me this feeling of, um, well, of kind of, how can I put this? Perhaps there's been times where you've given up, or not given up, but you have wavered on pushing through whatever this is. So again, um, what they're giving to me is like a long, long time ago, I used to, well, I was an artist, right? And I painted. Um, and I remember, and this is when my kids were very, very small. I was a stay-at-home parent at that time. And it was a beautiful thing to be able to do when they were napping, et cetera, et cetera. And they're giving me the feeling of bringing me back to that. So it's got to be connected to someone out there where, you know, you contact galleries or you talk to friends and family and, you know, you're trying to get your art out there, not only for you to be able to follow your dreams, <clears throat> but also for you to be able to make a little bit of money, right? To help out the, 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 the family, whatever. This is just an example though. But man, it can get really, really tiring because you're knocking on doors, you're getting rejections left, right, and center, you know? Um, and I remember the feeling of really wanting to give up. Like really, like kind of like, oh, this is like beating, um, what's that saying? Beating a dead horse, which I think is one of the most craziest statements to ever, or uh, sentences. But you know, the thing is, is life got went on and I moved on and all that kind of stuff and I still paint and all of that, but obviously I just do it more for a hobby for myself. It's a passion. That's the energy they're giving me. And it feels like you not quitting that the will, your will, there's something connected to bringing, this bringing in beautiful stability. And again, like happiness and joy. All right. That's, that's what they're giving me. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's start with my fountain deck. That was a big spiel, but as always, holy shit, we have the ten of coins on the bottom. Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sag, ten of pentacles is as big as you can get as far as stability, as far as resources, as far as finances. This is a lot of wealth, a lot of money. Um, again, this could be some kind of large money coming in that really allows you to plant your feet and do the things you want. 
but this can also be representing doing what you're doing and whether that is like following your passions or <clears throat> um, I don't know there's a lot of creative energy coming through here something is gonna pay off is what I want to say pay off big time ten of Pentacles followed by the six of cups interesting Cancer Pisces Scorpio Sag this is the stuff connected to our past so for some of you, this is some passion project that you have had in your heart and in your mind probably for years, but you maybe haven't had the ability to completely focus on it, but it feels connected. All right. It feels connected. Wow. Holy cow. We've got the nine of cups next. This is all on the bottom, right? Foundation of your reading. This is the wishes coming true. What you've been working on, what you've been putting your energy into, what you've been trying to manifest. This is Spirit's way of saying it is coming. And we have the Ace of Wands. You guys know I normally don't go more than six. They are guiding me to keep going, so we will. The Ace of Wands, beautiful new beginning in your creativity, in your passions, in your fire. Um, this is also my yes card. So if you've been asking yourself that question, will this succeed? Um, should I keep pursuing? The answer is yes. And we have the Queen of Coins. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The Queen of Pentacles and followed by the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> so Queen of Pentacles, Sag, this is stability. It's feminine side. It is stability. It is not having to worry. This is having more than enough. Um, even being able to treat yourself well, to nurture yourself well. And again, followed by the Ten of Cups. I mean, <clears throat> the Ten of Coins and the Ten of Cups. That's a lot of positive flow coming your way. Ten of Cups, happy heart, happy home. Um, that overjoy, being overjoyed. Okay, all right, Spirit. This is wild. And again, with that Karma cult card, if I can speak, I'm just looking for my Kleenex. Give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, um, with that um, karma card, I feel that is spirit, Spirit's way of saying your time is now, you know? Like maybe even the people that are the haters, you know? The haters, the one people that want to keep you down, whatever. They're not succeeding. Okay, I just got the image of someone writing a book. I just seen a book. If that's you, I would say keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Okay. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much. What is the message then? Let's get into the tarot portion. Beautiful Sagittarius. Show me clearly, please. Okay. The Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords, I'm not taking reversals today. Ten of Swords. This is our air energy, Sag. This is like it's our communication. It is what we say to ourselves with with others. Um, it's the sword, so it's the sword of truth. But the ten of swords is representing the struggle, the struggle, the pain, the wanting to give up, being on your hands and knees, like you know, because this person is bent down, really on their hands and knees. This is coming to an end now. It feels like something is really switching for you. Um, we have the knight of coins on the bottom, which is representing how slow it has been, the slow process. To get where you are going and now they're interrupting me and they're not interrupting me because this is their message um my beautiful guides but they're asking me to look here so i am wow okay we have red fox that was underneath a tiger red fox is about strategy so some of you have been trying to make a strategic plan trying to make a plan on how to get what you're wanting okay and it's number three by the way and guess what's after that the horse R freedom Freedom, 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 freedom. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, thank you so much. Let's continue. All right. So, <clears throat> the end of a hard cycle coming to a close, bringing you happiness, joy, and stability. Show me more, please. Beautiful, Saggy. For those that this is a reading, oh, justice. Gorgeous, Sag. This is amazing. This is Libra's card. So right now we have air on the table. <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. When the Justice card comes out, think about the scales. If the scales have been out of whack, you know, again, the wheel stuck in the mud, not able to get traction, 
this is when everything starts to change for you and everything is going to balance out, but in the appropriate manner. Meaning, if it's been, I just heard, down on my luck. That's what my God just said to me, down on my luck. So if you have said that, I've been down on my luck, things are not going the way I need them to, the way I want them to. It truly is shifting here. The scale is going to not only balance out, but it's going to go, if it's been down, it's going to go up. Okay? Um, they were just giving me something else, and now I, I lost it, because I am in channel mode. It's a major arcana, though, Sag. So, okay, I have to say this, because it is a justice card. This could, for some of you, be some kind of legal situation and if that is the situation for you it does feel that you win um yeah because there might be some kind of lawsuit or something going on it could even be about a marriage breakup but the thing is is that you would be get it's going to be balanced okay i have to say that let's see what's on the bottom the hermit virgo's card another major arcana here when the hermit comes out this is that energy sag of really going within and, and, and trusting yourself, trusting your inner guidance system. Yes, we can talk to other people and we can try and get support from other people, but honestly, when the hermit comes in, it is kind of that, that energy that you have to do this for you on your own, okay? Um, again, not really relying so much on anyone else's opinion. This is about you listening to your gut, okay? I want to keep going here. All right, Spirit, show me more, please. Thank you for guiding me in this reading for beautiful Sagittarius, the fire sign. Okay, the judgment card. Wow, okay. Judgment card. And I, if I remember correctly, when we were doing the metaphysical deck, I thought, uh, oh no, right here, the karma card. That's what it reminded me of. So judgment, Sag, this is two major arcana showing up here. This is a big deal because it is that phoenix flying under the ashes. I sincerely feel that spirit, God, source, whatever you believe in, also you, because you've got to remember your beautiful ability to call into your life what you want. The law of attraction. Obviously, we still have to put work into it, right? Um, energy into it, I should say. But the judgment card showing up here, it does feel like this is the change of change of time change of time i think that's what they're saying change of time you are rising and rising and rising again we have that two of wands on the bottom so sag this is your energy but it's aries and leo as well the two of wands represents um kind of like a dilemma again of I'm not sure which path to take. I don't know. And ultimately, the person that's holding these two wands also has the world in their hand, which indicates, um, you know, the ending of a cycle, closing one door, opening another door. And then it's followed by the world. So this is the completion. So for a lot of you, <clears throat> the changing of the times, that's what they were saying, kids, they just gave it to me again. The changing of time, the changing of the times. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Okay, let's continue. All right. Beautiful energy, beautiful. Okay, show me a little bit more, please, Spirit. True joy and happiness coming in. Oh, we got tons. Too many. <laughs> Too many, we're going to put them back, Okay. Show me a little less, please. I love you, Saggy. I don't know what this is. Again, like I said, it's going to be so different for every one of you if this is resonating. But there is this new beginning. Um, I don't think it came easily, though. i, I got to say, I don't think it's been easy. Let's this one strange. Ten of Cups, where I stopped. <clears throat> ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. And as I said, I don't think this path has been easy. And I definitely think that some of you really were thinking of, okay, I'm just going to go a different direction. 
but there's an energy coming through here of just keep pushing. Keep pushing, you're that close to achieving success. Yeah, Ten of Cups after the Ten of Swords where you're feeling powerless, feeling like you don't have a lot of control over whatever this is for you, but you do, you do. And again, you know, the reminder of what you focus on is what you call into your life. Temperance card is next, your card, the patience, the not giving up, even if everything, even if hell is broken loose. Okay, I'm going to go one more time with this deck. All right, Spirit, anything else out of my fountain deck? A beautiful Saggy. Okay, the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands shows up with the Nine of Swords on the bottom. I know it's scary. I know that whatever this may be, because it does feel like a, uh, taking a leap of faith, but at the same time, remember you are protected. Remember you are being guided. You are moving forward. Three of Wands is about moving forward. You're actually starting to, we have the Two of Wands, now you're actually starting to move. Um, but with that Nine of Swords on the bottom, Spirit is letting me know that for whoever this is meant for, I know that there's it's scary. Life can be really scary. Um, and, you know, there's no answer to how to figure that out, how to work through the fear, to how to work through the anxiety, the stress. Other than, remember when the Nine of Swords shows up, it usually is all in our head and it's not really in our reality. What The what ifs. The what ifs. And I'm telling you here, Spirit is saying that you're going to be stable. You're going to have happiness. You are protected. So if you can get out of your heads, and which I think you do because we have the, the Ten of Swords here. Beautiful things are on its way. We have the Empress next. Okay. Um, I just want to take a moment and see if I can get anything else. Um, let's go traditional title. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. We have the sun on the bottom, Sag. So this is Leo's card. Perhaps this is something that you're going to see in August. You know, we're not that far away from that. The sun is freedom and joy. It is abundance and happiness. You know, it's being able to be more playful. Um, feeling like when you wake up in the morning that you're excited to jump out of bed. That kind of energy because there's so much gorgeous energy around you. Oh, wow. We have the death card next. I did say that. Scorpio's card. Major Arcana again. Yeah. One thing. Something dying out. That's what this card always means, right? It's transformation. And transformation, yes, it gets used all the time. I say it probably a million times in these readings. But the transformation, although the word is used a lot, the transformation that we go through, it's usually quite difficult and quite challenging. But here's the thing, you're going from that death to the sun. So again, whatever this is, Saggy, it's, if it's your reading, this is a confirmation that you are on the path of success. Or you're very well about to. Okay, Spirit, thank you again. Anything else for those Sagittarius is that this is their reading? Oh, okay. Six of Cups, once again, on the bottom. So that's twice this card is showing up. It's definitely connected to either someone from your past or something from your past that still is in, involved with you. Again, painter, writer, sculpture, whatever it is, whatever it is. It's going to be different for everyone. Okay, I feel like we got repeats. We've got the King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Justice card again. We've got Justice card twice. Okay. So the Three of Swords showing up, Saggy, this is a hard energy, especially with that Ten of Swords, but it, that is the energy that is coming to an end. You know, when the Three of Swords shows up, in any reading, it is the Spirit's way of saying that they've seen your heartbreak. They've seen the struggle, the disappointment, the pain, the worry. For some of you, even the betrayal, right? Again, the karma card here. People kind of going, hey, you know, I want a little bit more of Sag. Which has obviously caused a lot of the anxiety and the stress at night. Sometimes we, when we go through things in life and it feels like the wheel is again stuck and it's not moving no matter how hard we try, um, we can really kind of get stuck in that energy and worried that it's never going to change. But here's the beautiful thing about what I feel, God, source, the universe. We have so much more power than we often think. We forget about our power. Um, so we have to override that. We've got to get stronger in that, right? 
So the Nine of Swords, again, just representing the anxiety, the worry, the stress. But Justice card comes in once again, once again, reminding you and letting you know it's all going to be okay. It's all going to work out for you. And we then have the King of Pentacles. So we had the Queen of Pentacles not that long ago in my Fountain deck, and now we've got the King of Pentacles. So stability, stability, stability. You know, the King of Pentacles didn't get there yeah, he wasn't just born into that, you know? He had to work really hard. He, she, all, all have masculine and feminine. Had to really kind of work and focus and um, know and believe that it is coming to you. Because it is. Okay. Um, man, I can't, they're not giving me... There must be a lot of, um, of us out there that are going through similar kind of struggles right now. And feeling like kind of worn out, beaten down. But holy cow, if you can just stay on your course and keep going, you're not going to regret what's at the end of the table, the end of the, the end of the rainbow, the end of the road, whatever you want to say. Okay, let's go one more time, Spirit. But remember all the positive cards. Okay, is there anything else you have for Sagittarius? For those that this is a reading, thank you so much for this guidance. Anything else you would like Sagittarius to know? Oof, it's getting hot in here. Three of cups on the bottom. Celebration, babe. Lots of celebrating to be done. Two of pentacles. <laughs> once we get out of this juggling, once we make the decision to keep focused and not quit, because I feel like you are so close, we get the celebration. Oh my gosh. The three of cups followed by the sun. Followed by the page of cups. <clears throat> okay, so some of you might have to juggle. Again, this could be, okay, and I'm going to use that example. I'm an artist. I'm just going to use it. I'm an artist, but I do still have to work at my accounting job until I get, until the doors open up for me. <clears throat> and then once that happens, I don't have to do the accounting job anymore. I can solely focus on my passion. Example, Sag. But that's what this is. So you might have to still juggle a little bit. But it does feel there is a lot of movement and a lot of growth that you will be stepping into. Okay, Sag, this is where we're going to leave this part of the reading. I want to get you an um, oracle. See if there's any final advice, guidance that Spirit can give you. Whatever this is, my love. Keep going. Life is short. Keep your eye on the prize. Okay. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah. Sag, we have abundance. This card does not come out often. So here we have, we have the abundance. I'm going to read it, and then we'll see what wants to come out. <clears throat> All right. Love, security, freedom, happiness, support, and finances are yours in abundance. The universe provides. It is up to you to say yes. All life flows with love, and you are, you are an energy being of love. You are not separate from what you desire. Let go of limited expectations and acknowledge that you are worthy of all things. Participate in life's joys and you shall receive the rewards of your efforts. Simplified. Spirit just wraps up this reading. <laughs> okay. I love it. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. So abundance is yours, Sag. Anything else for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? For those that this is their reading. Compassion. Okay. <laughs> Compassion and transformation. Did I not just preach about that word? Yes, I think I did. All right, Sagi. So, you know, we're always transforming though, right? We rarely stay st stagnant, even when it feels like we are. Okay. Compassion, it says. Allow tenderness and kindness into your thoughts and actions and soften your attitude towards yourself. Feel how good it is to be kind to yourself. Lovingly allow the journey of others. You can be there for them with understanding and support. Let go of sympathy and allow compassion. Allow the feminine energy of gentleness to enter your daily life. Okay, beautiful. Okay, we all have feminine energy. So yeah, be kind, gentle on yourself, you know? Um, I've seen this thing, because they're just reminding me of it. And I, I, it was interesting because, it, you know, we all have these expectations or we, expectations are put on ourselves of like, 
oh, you know, by the time you're 30, for example, you should be married or have kids or you should have this house or you should have this and you should have that. Or, you know, by the time you're 60, you should be whatever. You know, society's rules, regulations. <clears throat> but we don't have to choose to follow that. Many, many people didn't get to where they were wanting to get to until they were in their 50s, 60s, 70s, you know? Um, so never stop, never stop on your dreams. It doesn't matter how old we are. It doesn't matter how we are physically. We can have whatever we want. It's up to us to pursue it and how strong our will is, okay? Just a beautiful reminder I wanted to say because it really doesn't matter how old we are. Look, sometimes I go, um, I'll say to myself, holy shit, I'm getting, I'm getting older. Sometimes it gets a little scary. I'm a person too, right? But then I'm like, you know what? Like, that's what this world is, this life is about, is going after our, our dreams and really trying to shake the shit off our shoulders and hold our head up high and get back up, right? Okay, so Sag, we have transformation on the bottom. I'm going to read it and I'm going to let you go, my love. Okay, it says, transformation is a gradual process. Look back and see how many changes have occurred and thank yourself for all the steps you have taken. Now may be a time for a giant leap of faith or you may be ready for a journey into the unknown. Let go of the past and be free to move on. Renewal of strength and revitalization is upon you. Call upon your heart energy to see you through your transformation. Okay. All right, Saji, that is the advice or guidance, whatever, however you want to look at it, from Beautiful Spirit. I hope that this helped you. I hope it confirmed that you're on the right path. Remember, it's always darkest before dawn. All right? I love you. I love you, and I'm going to send you the biggest, biggest, biggest hug. So much kisses. We've got this. So let's push on, all right? All right, Saji, I love you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you again for being here and taking the time to listen to this reading. All right, Saj, all my love.